warm up that I'm going to explain a little bit of what we're doing today. So, you know, this is a basic fitness class. This is not usually a high intensity or a hit class, but sometimes the workout feels like it's more high intensity. Today, you're never going to go over eight reps of a workout or of an exercise, but we're going to do a ladder up and a ladder down. Sorry. Kick your heels to your butt or just do a nice, easy, good old fashioned step tap, heel to butt. All right, so keep moving. Um, so that being said, it's, it's the ladder up and the ladder down. Give me some jumping jacks or just step tap to the side. So it's a little bit repetitious, but you know, repetition is good. And I always say repetition is the mother of invention in fitness. Three, two, one, knees up, just alternating elbow to knee. You wanna make it more high intensity. You have that opportunity always. If you're using your watch, I kind of always go to the other, for lack of anything better, <laughs> twist. But the idea here is that we get that rotation. Those of you with me on Friday, if I recall, we had a lot of rotation. Four, three, two, one. Good, go into some squatting, weight back in your heels. Not too deep on this one. Head up, chest up, weight back all the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay on your squat, hands on your thighs. Round your back, pull your belly in. Arch your back, extend your spine. Round your back, extend your spine. Round and hold. Right shoulder presses forward. Left shoulder presses forward. Come back to the center, round your back, pull the belly in. Arch your back, release your arms behind your back. Palms together, knuckles out and fold over your legs. Hang your head down. Arms reach up. Breathe. And then release your hands, left hand to right foot, left knee bends, twist open to the right side. Cross it over, switch to the other side. Opening up that twist. And then come back to center. Hang your head, let your arms dangle, and then begin to slowly roll yourselves up, roll your shoulders, you keep yourselves moving. Let me explain to you what we're gonna do. It's gonna seem like a little bit slow at first um, because it's only two reps. And because we're gonna be doing this particular set alternating, we're doing literally two reps. So it'll be a front lunge for two, a rear lunge for two, and a side lunge for two. So if you wanna add weights, you add weights. We're gonna go then to four reps. Same thing, one, two, three, four on alternating sides. Four reps, front lunge, rear lunge, side lunge. Six reps, eight reps, then we go back down the ladder. So Deb, if you don't wanna do any um, lunging, just do some steps. Keep yourself active, in a, a keep your heart rate up. right? Maybe just do step taps and things like that. Reach your arms up. For the rest of us, we're gonna go into our legs, lunging, okay? Using a weight or no weight, I, um, I prefer one weight than, um, than two weights for me personally. We're gonna start on the right foot as we do a front lunge, right side, left side, then we go right into the rear lunge. All right, so stick with me and I'll get you counting. And keep me honest, so if you hear me messing up, holler out there, turn off your mutes and let me know. Right leg in three, two, one. So it's a front lunge, come back. Good, now let's go back to the rear lunge. Step back, step back, side lunge. Right out to the side, and other side. Four times now, alternating. One, front lunge, two. You go as low as you can or need to. Now four rear lunges. Four, you can also add some rotation if you like. Two, and one, rear uh, side lunge. Four, three, two, one. Go to six, so it's six. If you wanna add that rotation, five. Four, three, two, rear lunge, six, six, five. You know I love rotation, so I'm doing that. Four, three, two, one, side lunge. So you can always do this without going into the physical lunge just by stepping and stepping. Two more. 
So we're never gonna have, go front lunge again. We're never gonna have more than eight reps, because here's your eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rear lunge. Eight, seven, bend the knees, six, five, get the rotation in, Deb. Four, if you're not using legs, you should be using arms. Two, and side to side for eight. Eight, seven, six, I'm not getting my deepest here because I don't have the space, but I'm staying facing you. Four, three, two, now we're down to six, front lunge. Six, five, four, three, two, six rear lunges. Six, five, just get that rotation in. Four, three, two, side to side. Six, five, four, three, two, we're down to four guys. Four, three, two, four behind you. Four, see how easy it is? Three, two, side to side. Four, three, two, one more time, just two. One, two back, one, two side. One, two, come back in. Good, that's it, see you later. Okay, so that's all we do the whole morning. Two, four, six, eight, six, four, two, easy peasy. So having said that, while you're doing a lot of repetitions total, at any given time, there's no more than eight. So you can go with a heavier weight if you wanna try it. You know, you can always go down to a lighter weight. The next exercise is a hammer curl, and a lot of it is um, compound exercises, meaning we're getting two or more muscle groups or joints and things like that going at the same time. So it's a hammer curl to a side raise. Notice my side raise. It's, it's the one we have at the gym machine, right? So it's just like, I got a crow, that one. And then we have a clean and press, which is drawing the arms up overhead and pressing. If you need to use your hips to help you out, I encourage that a lot, okay? And then a deadlift to a row. Deadlift to a row. So remember, we start with two reps, we move on to four, six, and eight, and back down the ladder. So, having said that, you may have to change your weights at any given time, all right? But if you can stick with it as heavy as you can go, try it and see what happens. Let's start with two hammers and shoulder uh, raise, side raise, in three, two, go. One, up down. Two, up, and down. That's it. Clean and press. Racket, press overhead, and down. So look at my hips. I'm, I'm using my legs. And then we have the deadlift. Down, come up and row. Down, come up and row. Come all the way up. Hammer curl for four. So it's one, up, in, down. Two, up, in, down. Three, up, in, good. Four, up, in, down. Now a clean and press. We rack it, press it. Make sure you're not arching back, but there's a little tilt forward. Two more times. Clean it, press it. One more time. Clean, press. Good job, guys. Deadlifts. Go down. Give me a row. There's two, row, three, one more, four, row. I want you to come all the way up from that. All right, six, six hammer to shoulder press or side raise. Three, two, one. Hammer, raise, one. Hammer, raise, two, good. Hammer, know your body what you need to modify, 
four, two more, five, one more, six, and down. Good. What just beat? I don't know if that was me. All right. Hammer time. Uh, shoulder press. Clean and press. In three, two, go. Press up. One. So I'm just bringing it right up, but I might need to use my hips. So I'm going to drive it through my hips. Halfway. Three. In. Four. In. Five. Keep going. And six. Deadlifts. We complete the deadlift series back at the deadlift, so you actually kind of get one extra. All right, let's go. Take it down. Come up in row. One. Down. Row two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. One more. Down. Six. Come all the way back up. Good. All right, we're on the eight of the series. So our peak of our pyramid is coming up. Hammer to side raise for three, two, go. One, up and down. Two, and down. Three, good. See, I got a crow exercise. Four, halfway. You'll never do more than eight today. Five, six, Seven, one more, eight, that's it. All right, my hands are really slippery. All right, clean and press. So we rack it at the shoulders in three, two, go. One, press and down. Two, press and down. Three, see I'm using my hips here to get the weight up. Only if you need it, halfway. Four more, down. Three more, two more. Make sure your shoulder blades stay down. I don't want any traps in here. One more, up. No tension in your neck, if that's possible. All right, deadlifts to rows. This is our last big set. In three, two, let's go. One, row, two, Keep driving your weight through your heels here. Three, keep your hips back, chest up. Four, notice my knees are bent. Five, six, seven, eight, rise up. All right, I'm just gonna wipe my hands down. Uh, we're on the way down the ladder. I'm all sweaty. All right, on your way down the ladder, Six of everything. You ready? In three, two, let's go. Hammer, lift. That's one. Hammer, lift. That's two. Up, three. Up, four. Up, five. One more. Six. And down. Good. Up to our upright or upright row to a clean and press. All right, it's not really quite an upright row. Three, two, and one. Clean it, press one, down. Clean it, press two, good. Three, it's already easier because we're on the way down. Five, one more, is six, that's it. Deadlift, two, Row, three, two, go. One lift, one, two, pull, three, good, four, five, six, come down and back up. All right, a total of six reps remain, four and four, in three, two, go. Hammer, lift, one. Hammer, two. Good. Three, and four. Good. All right, to your shoulder press in three, two, one. 
clean it, press it, one. Two, whoops, three, bend forward, not back, one more, four, and down. Good, deadlift to a row in three, two, go. One, row, two, row, three, one more guys, four, and stand up. Last set, hooray. In three, hammer turn, two, go. One, and last one. Two, upright row, or um, excuse me, clean and press. One, and two, deadlift. One, row, two, row, rise up, put it down, bend your knees, and drop it down. Grab some water, wipe down. Good job, guys. Okay, as I said, it might get a little tedious. You know where you're going. There's a no surprise workout here, okay? Nothing surprising happening. The next exercise is a tricep kickback. Kickback, uh, kickback straight arm front raise. Now it's not momentum that gets us there. So kick back, straight arm front raise. You might have to go with a lighter, extra, uh, lighter weight front of your shoulders. Again, kick back, front raise. So you bring it in, kick back, but keep it front going, or keep it straight going front. Um, a regular old bicep curl to an Arnold press. So if my hands come up facing my face, I keep them facing my face, and then I rotate my arms up overhead, rotating the palms away. Bicep to an Arnold press. It's called an Arnold wide, Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay. Then we have a single, de single leg deadlift. So you can be on the ball of your foot or you can just keep it off the floor. And in deadlift, we also add a rear delt. So we're gonna come here, one and two. The only problem is they're single legs, so we go one leg and then the other. So it might be a little bit longer. All right, grab your water, take a sip, get ready. The first exercise is that tricep to a front raise. Keeping in mind, you're never doing more than eight reps at one given time in this workout. All right, so I'm gonna try this weight. All right, in three, bend your knees, two, elbows in, one. So kick back, front raise one. We only have two now, right? One, whoops, my bad, two. All right, bicep to Arnold. So it's a curl, press, come back down one, Curl, press, come back down, two. So a single leg rear delt. I'm gonna change weights for me. So I'm gonna put my weight in my left leg, lean forward, I'm gonna come into this deadlift rear delt. So it's almost like what we did um, with the, the full deadlift and a fly and a row, but it's a delt, okay? So left leg down, let's try two. Come down. Come up halfway, come down, and go back down, up, and come up, switch legs. Go. So we're down, halfway, fly, go back down, halfway, fly, go back down to come up. All right? There we go. We're on four. Tricep kick back to front raise in three, two, go. Kick back, one, in. Kick back, two, in, kick back, three, in, and there goes four, in, down. Bicep to hammer or bicep to Arnold. In three, two, go. Curl, four, down, three, two more. Two, one more, one, good. Change weights if you need to. I'm gonna try this one just because it's continuity. All right, weight in your left leg. Single leg deadlift. So you come down, come up, row. Go down, come up, two. Get two on each side, four on each side, excuse me. Three and four, switch legs. Now I could be nice and let you go two and two, four and four, 
but I'm not sure I'm gonna be that nice today, it's Monday. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Other leg, rear fly, two, good. Your body is parallel to the floor when you're in that fly or just not standing up, one more. Good, so in the rear fly, you're here, you're not here, you're not at that side raise, all right? So, I'm sorry, my hands are just really sweaty this morning. Um, kick back to front raise. This is for six. In three, two, go. One, up, in. Two, up, in. Three, up, in. Four, up, in. Five, up, in. Notice I hinge forward and six on that tricep and I come up to standing on the front raise, or as I'm coming up, I stand, or as I front raise, I'm coming up. All right, bicep to Arnold. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, two more, five, last one, ladies and maybe gentlemen, six. Good. Right leg is the single leg, right leg is bent, or maybe you're balancing the entire time, your choice. In three, two, go. One, fly. Two, fly. Three, keep going. Four, change weights when and if you need to. Five, one more. Six, and switch. All right, weight in the right leg, left knee is bent. If you don't want to do the deadlift, just bend over. In three, two, go. One, fly. Two, keep it going. Three, four, five, one more, six, Good, all right, our eight reps, eight reps, Woo. sweaty. They say there's no rain, but boy, it feels like it in here. All right, six triceps, front raise. Was that six? This is eight, yeah? Thumbs up if it's eight. Yes, thank you, okay, yeah. All right, so I told you it's repetitious. Sometimes you get a little mixed up. All right, eight reps, listen carefully. First one is the triceps. Bend your knees, elbows in, go. Eight, up, in. Two, up, in. Three, up, in. Four, up, in. Five, up, in. Six, keep going, two more. Seven, good job guys. And eight, up, in. Bicep to Arnold, eight reps the most we're doing at one time. In three, two, let's go. One, remember, don't lean back, lean slightly forward if you have to. Two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, Dead, okay, there you go. And eight, up, and in. Okay, this is your bonus. Four on the right, four on the left. Say thank you later. Weight in the left leg, right toes on the floor. Three, two, deadlift, go. One, fly. Two, fly. Three, fly, good. If we lose connection, I've got, hopefully got a video of this. Four, stand up. Other leg, four, I'm being nice. Let's go. Four, out, three, good. Two, one more, in, up, good. All right, that was your eight. We're moving back to six, complete sets. Ready? Knees bent. Elbows in, six reps, go. Six, in, 
two, in, three, in, four, in, five, one more, six, in, shoulder press, Whew. here we go, curl, six, down, five, four, three, two more, two, one more, up, and in. Whew. Again, gotta wet my hands. All right, I give you a little gift on this one too. Three on the right, three on the left. Pick up your weights in three, two, let's go. One, fly, two, fly, three, fly, switch, three, open, two, open, one, open, and come on up. Ooh. All right, four and two, total sets, four and two. All right, this is it. Your last six round or six um, reps of the exercises, but four at first, then two. Elbows in, bend over. Three, two, kick back. One, front raise in. Two, front raise in. Three, in, four, in. Biceps. One, good. Two, that's it ladies. Three, and gents if you're out there. And four, Right side deadlift, three, left side deadlift, I'm sorry, four and four on the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. One, four, two, three, good, keep bent over, four, come on up, switch legs, last four. Four, up, three, up, two, one more, down, up, and up. This was a tough one, yeah? All right, one more round, it's two reps, over and done. In three, bend over, two, go. Kick back, front raise, in. Two, front raise, in, biceps. Curl, press, in, curl, Press in, deadlift. Two, rear delt. Two, other side. Go two, last one is one, and done. Put it down, wipe it down. Grab some water, good. We have a leg series. So Deb, on your leg series, you can do some crunches, some standing, crunches side to side, twisting, and all that if you don't want to go into legs. And all we're doing for legs is squat, goblet squat, weight in your hands or between, I like to keep it up here, goblet squat, so I like to get my elbows to touch or maybe inside of my thighs and come up, and then a close squat, feet together, all right? So three different kinds of squats, you don't have to use a weight on any of them, or you can use a weight just, I'm gonna use it just on the goblet squat, personally. Um, so you can use it heavy or light. All right, let me give you a little recovery time. Get your heart rates under control. This is like our tiebreaker right here, okay? So, traditional squat, Neutral, hips are neutral, shoulders over hips, hips back. We start with just two, and grab a weight nearby if you're gonna use it only for goblets. If you're using it for squats, hold it at your chest, all right? If you're using it for any other squats, hold it at your chest. Maybe I'll just do that with you in the second round. All right, so let's get going. You're back, Deb. All right, we haven't missed anything. So this is, this is a leg series, and if you don't wanna do the legs, then I want you to do side to side twisting motion, all right? 
In three, two, one, all we have is a squat. One, and take your time. Two, then we have a goblet squat. One, speed her out a little bit. Two, then we have a fully close grip or a close leg. One, two, good. So I said I wasn't gonna use the weight. Here I am, I'm using the weight. All right, and it's just easier not to have to change it up. So neutral position, four squats in three, two, go. Four, drive through your heels. Three, sit back like you're in a chair. Two, one more. Deb, you can make this a crunch. One, turn your toes out slightly, goblets. Elbows inside, thighs, four. Three, two, one. Feet together. This one's gonna go by fast. Ready, go, four. Four, three, drive through those heels. Two, one, separate your feet hips width. Six, go. Six, this is easier to get in and out of. Two, three, four, five, six. Toes slightly turned out, little sumo. Six, go. Six, weight back in your heels. Arms inside your thighs, five, four, three, two, one. Come back in, feet together, six, six. Expect your heart rate to go up, five, four, three, two, one. Neutral stance, eight reps, go, eight, seven, sit that weight back, six, good Deb, five, four, less torso, more hip, three, two, one, a little wider, toes out, eight, seven, six, drive through the heels, five, four, three, two, good, feet together, eight, go, eight, seven, six, sit down, five, not into your knees, four, three, two, one, good, a quickie little rest for our journey on the way down, all right, six, four, and two. Back to your neutral stance. So remember I said we don't really necessarily do high intensity, but sometimes your heart rate will get up there as if. All right? Just repetition, repetition, repetition. In three, two, go. Six, five, four, get as low as you can. Three, two, toes out, sumo or goblet, five, four, three, two, one, feet together, you're almost there guys, six, five, four, three, two, one, neutral stance. Hips width about, hips width apart for four. Ready, go. Four, three, two, one, turn it out. Four, touch your elbows inside your thighs. Three, not by bending your torso. Two, one more. One, feet together, go. Four, three, Two, good, neutral position, last two, yay. One, two, turn it out. One, two, bring it together. One, and two, well done, guys, well done. All right, 
Little recovery time, get your mat. We're on the floor for the rest of this workout. So Deb, I think you can see me. I know it says it's paused, but I know you're kind of, okay, there you are. We're going down to the floor. I'm pretty sure you can see me. I think you can all see me. Grab your mat. Oops. Hi. All right. Can everybody see me? Deb, I'm going to bring you closer. I think you can do it, though. All right, guys. The first exercise is a push up. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. First exercise is a push up. The push up is with a wide grip, so, or a wide stance, right? So your arms are wide, not chaturangas. The next exercise is on your back for a fly. The fly is a reverse grip, so your palms face your face, your pinkies face you, uh, each other, and our fly opens up that way. Be very careful on the going out part, all right? There's a lot of pressure on the shoulders. All right, so we don't want to do that. And then skull crushers, hands to your forehead. If you're using one weight, take it to your forehead. If you're using two weights, you could take it to your forehead or the tops of your shoulders. All right, so remember, it's the same thing. Two, four, six, eight, six, four, two. I'm going to bring some water nearby. The first exercise is going to be a push-up. Wide arms. I'll stay this way for this one. All right. I gave you enough recovery time, so let's get going. You could be on your knees or on your um, toes. All right, so remember the first one's just two. Ready, go. One, two, now you're on your back. So listen, on those push-ups, if you wanna put weights underneath your knees, that's fine also, okay? So the next exercise is our flies. It's a reverse grip, so just Check out your shoulder positioning, but check out how it feels. Remember your legs can be in a bent knee position. You can be in a bent knee off the floor, or those of you who like to be in a bridge can be in a bridge. Arms up, palms face your face. Tilt your pelvis. Open your arms out to the side. One and two. Good. Now turn your palms forward. If you're using two weights, maybe you want to turn your palms in and touch your shoulders. So just skull crushes in three, two, go. One, up, two, up and down. So now you can use these weights and put them under your hands for your chest press or your push-up. All right, we've got four of those. Toes tucked, shoulders over L or wrists in three, two, go. Four. Three, two, one. Good. Flip it onto your back. Now, if you don't want to, it doesn't feel right for your shoulders to have your palms reversed or your shoulders in a different rotation, then please go to your traditional flies. I have a soft bend in my elbows. Tilt the pelvis. Let's go for four. One, in, two, two more. Just make sure your back doesn't arch. Three, good. And four, right into your skull crushers or your shoulder tap with your elbows bending, no shoulder movement. Go for four, three, tilt that pelvis. Two, one more, and one. Good job, guys. All right, six push-ups, wide arms. Right? Knees under hips. If you're on your knees, shift your weight forward. Tuck your toes in three, two, go. Six, keep your head in line with your spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Back on your back. I know there's a lot of flipping over. It's, um, it counts for calories, don't worry. All right. On your back, palms face in, you choose which way you want your arms and which way you want your hips or legs, okay? You can be here. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. Keep your abs in nice and tight. Three, four, five, six. Good. Skull crushers, triceps, let's go. Six, five, four, three, belly to spine, two, one. Bring it up and around. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Doing great. This is the big one. Eight. It's the big one. It sounds like Sanford and Son. It's the big one. You're coming to get me. All right. Tuck your toes. Shift your hips forward. Can't say those things anymore. Three, two, one. Go for eight. Up. Seven. Strong abs. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Awesome job, guys. All right. Back to our reverse grip, chest-wise. Legs up or down, hips up or down. In three, two, go. Eight. Go really slowly on the way out. Seven. You should feel that tension, but you don't want to force it. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, skull crushers. Go for eight, seven, don't move the shoulders. Six, this one is elbow bending and extending. Four more, four, three, two, one, good. On the um, triceps, try not to move your wrists. So when you're here, don't pull your wrists forward to bring your arms forward. Keep your wrists in that same flexion and just extend the elbows. Does that make any sense? Right, don't press, do this. Do this, all right? On the way down for six. Here we go. Three, two, one. Six push-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to your flies. Here we go. Tilt your pelvis. Good. Palms in. Six. Five, you feel that pull right away, so control it. Four, three, two, one more, one, six skull crushers. Bend the elbows, keep the wrist straight. Five, four, three elbows over shoulders, belly to spine so your back doesn't arch, two, and one. Almost there, guys. Four and two left. That's it. It does equal six, but not at one time. All right, last set of four. Wide grip. Three, two, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. It's the home stretch. Good. On your back. Palms in. Last time we're doing four of these. Ready, set, four, three, two. Nice job, guys, you all look great. One, triceps, skull crushes, four, three, keep that strong wrist, two, one more, and one. Good, all right, last one. All righty, moving right along. Ariel, if you have to leave, don't worry about it. I have abs for you anytime you need. I think she might be gone. Okay. So let's go. Two push ups. Three, two, one, go. One, two on your back. Flies and skulls. Ready? Good. One, two, right into your triceps. One, and two. Good. Sit up, guys. 
Take your arms behind you, turn your fingers away from you, and lift your chest up, stretch your shoulders. It's a lot of shoulder work there. Good, Deb. Good job. All right, the last exercise, ziz, <laughs> are um, abs. So, the first one is a straight leg crunch. Your legs are out in front of you. Easy peasy, you just lift your torso up the floor. All right, just a straight leg crunch. The next one is a rope climb. So you're climbing up the rope one, and you're climbing down all the way. That's the other one. The next one is leg up toe touches. You can use a weight here if you choose. You don't have to if you don't. We should get through this fairly quickly. I'm just gonna move my kettlebells out of the way so I have my leg up straight. All right, so if you choose to use a weight, make it a good one, make it a nice heavy one. Legs out in front of you. On your back, hands behind your head. Toes point to you. All we're doing is lifting our torso up off the floor. Two reps. Ready? In three, two, let's go. One, two. Now bend your knees, reach your arms up, climb the rope up, one, all the way back down, and up again for two, and all the way back down. Legs up in the air, touch your toes if you're using a weight, grab it, all we have is two. So one, two. Now, if you want to keep the weight, put it behind your head, extend your legs out, and just lift your torso for four. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. You'll have to, you don't have to, you can put the weight down. Bend your knees, we go up and down for four. In three, two, one. One, all the way up, all the way down. Two, if you can't get all the way up, do it as a crunch, all the way down. So if you can't get up, just stay here. Three, all the way down, and four, all the way down. Toe touches, legs up straight in the air. Ready, go. Four, three, two, one. Knees bent, I'm sorry, feet out in front of you. I've got the weight still behind my head. You don't have to do that at all. Upper body depth, so really scoop out, like think of a hollow hole, how you really have to scoop out your belly and pull your ribs down towards your hips. Do the same thing here. Um, six of these, let's go. Six, five, flex your feet. Four, three, two, one. Good. Weight down or use it, whatever you want. Knee bent, climb up, go. Six, all the way up. All the way, don't kick your legs to get up. Five, if you can't get up, then use it as a crunch. All the way down. Four, and down. Three, and down. Two more, two, and down. One more, make sure you're articulating your spine, don't miss that middle back, and down. Good, straight leg, crunch. Oh no, legs up, toe touches, sorry. Legs up, go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Legs down. This is our eight reps. So I have still have the, you can have the weight at your chest too if you want, or behind your head or not at all. Ready, set, go for eight, seven, six, five, don't forget to breathe, three, two, one. Good. All right, rope climbs. Eight of these, go. One, all the way up. Round your back down. Two. Round your back down. Good. Three. Remember, if you have to jerk yourself to get up, stay on the floor and do a crunch. Four. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my abs already. And five. And down. Scoop it out. Six. And down. Just two more, guys. Seven. And down. One more is eight, all the way up, and all the way down. Toe touches, legs up. Legs nice and straight, arms up. Three, 
two, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We are on the other side of that pyramid or that ladder, whatever you want to call it. Take your weight behind your head. If you're using it over your chest, or no weight at all. We're down to six. Go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rope climb. Bend your knees in three, two, go. Six. All the way up. All the way down. Five. Four. Three. We don't have to be Marcel, Marcel, but two more. And the last one. All the way up. And all the way down. Good. Toe touches. Legs in the air. Hey, yeah. Arms up. Flex your feet. Six. Go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, legs out in front of you. This is it, guys. We're on the way down that ladder. We're almost at the bottom. So we've got four crunches. I'm losing space every time I do this. Okay, go. Four, three, two, one. Four ropes. Go. One, all the way up, all the way down. And two, all the way down, and three, all the way down, and four, all the way down, and down, good. Toe touches, extra credit if you wanna lift your hips up off the floor. Three, two, go, four, three, two, and one, last, Set today. Hands behind your head. Just a upper body crunches in three, two, one. Let's go for one and two. Good. Climb the rope. One all the way up. Down. And two all the way up. And down. And grab your weight last time. Add your hips if you'd like. Three, two, one. Go. One and two. And done. Put your weights down, clear your space, hug your knees to your chest. Oh my goodness, how are you all? Ah, you made it. You climbed the pyramid and you went down the other. Thanks, Cindy. Bye. <laughs> all right, let's take a spinal twist. Thank you, Cindy. Good to see you. All right, move your hips to the right and move your knees to the left. Let's get rid of that little twist, or let's get into that little twist to release the hip and back. You guys, you did awesome. You guys at home, I know you're doing awesome. Do not cheat on this. It's very beneficial. Switch to the other side. So as I said, we never did more than eight reps at one given time of any exercise. So it's okay to challenge yourself with a heavier weight if you can and then return back to your back, hugging this all the way up to your chest. Round and curl your spine, just pull everything close in. And let's rock and roll to a seated position. Cross one leg in front of the other. Pull yourself up, pull your chest through, shoulders down. And then drop your chin in, pull your belly in, roll away from your sitting bones so you're backwards creating a C-curve of your spine. And then pull yourself forward and bring your chest forward. And let's just move in circular motions here, round and around, keeping the hips grounded. And then reverse it, just kind of giving a little life back to our torso. And then come all the way back up, bring the arms overhead, lean to the right side, stretch up overhead, lean to the left side, stretch. Up overhead, lean forward, reach out, pull your hips back, relax your shoulders, raise back up, arms up, 
Lean back, shake out your legs and switch the cross of your legs just to get that hip stretch on the other side, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. You might find this side is not as happy as the other side because typically when we sit in any position, we sit in the one that's more familiar to us, more habitual to us, probably because it's more open to us. Come back up on the inhale, bring the arms up. Take your arms behind your back, stretch out those shoulders. They got a nice little stretch, a workout this morning. Open up, open up, open up, knuckles to the earth. And then release your arms, bring it all the way up. Exhale your hands together. Give yourselves a big clap, big hug for my friends at home. Stay home, stay fit, stay healthy. And I'll be back at you. <laughs>